one thing, a very, very important thing is, um, as, as a videographer, or as, if you're, you may not be aware of this, I'm sure you're aware of this, but um, it's really, really difficult to remove logos out of a shot, um, faces that aren't released, um, props, anything. Um, incredibly difficult, time consuming. You can spend a lot of time and money trying to remove things. It's really, really important to remember that um, you're aware that there's no logos in any of your shots, uh, no alcohol. Um, also be aware of anyone that you cast or use that's under 21 serving alcohol could definitely limit sales. Um, probably won't sell at all in this country. Um, just things to be aware of um, that could definitely hamper your sales. The most important thing that you can bring to the shoot other than your camera is an app called Easy Release. And Easy Release I've been using for years and it's a mobile app. You could have it on your iPad, your iPhone. Make sure you have it on a shoot. And what it is is it's a buyout model release, property release. Um, what you want to be aware of is after you've shot the talent or even before you hit the record button, you have the model sign the release. Also important if it's necessary is to get the property release. You can buy, find both of those on that app besides a children's release. Now if you're working with kids, they're under 18 years old, I believe it's under 18 years old, they have to have the parent sign. Something for you to understand also is um, shelf life. Shelf life is super important. To keep your work timeless and sellable for more than five years, make it timeless. Think about the styling and think about the technology. If you do that, you got a long shelf life. The trick is to sort of find fashion that doesn't compromise the shot five years down the line. So you can still be cool, sort of like find something that's hip and stylish that's not going to date it in about a week. In preparation for the Skillshare class, um, a couple weeks ago I was in London and we brought the Mark III. We knew we were going to shoot a band in London and we needed mobility. And I think it was the perfect time to demonstrate the passion of this band that we were shooting. And they were real, they were authentic, and I think this footage shows that. What makes these clips incredibly attractive to our clients, have strong sellability, is the authenticity. We're looking at a real band from a real record company that we were able to work with purely through connection. The band wanted a vid music video, we decided to make a music video, and because of that, we were able to keep the content and get the club for free. I touched upon authenticity. So to prove authenticity for this class, we shot a couple in East London, a day in the life of a couple from East London. There was no hair, there was no makeup. They came as they were. The beautiful thing about this couple is they were a real couple. So there was no weirdness. So they interacted completely natural. These clips are attractive to advertisers. Now, things to remember. One, be inspired and keep inspired. Two, think volume. Think about shooting for transitional moments. Think about the big picture, get the whole story. Three, go for those universal emotions and milestones. Everything from baby births, weddings, graduations, birthday parties, even funerals. Four, think about your most targeted client, your market segment. You have commercial clients, you have editorial clients, and non-broadcast clients. Think about those when you're shooting. And five, but not least, think about what can ruin a clip. Logos, alcohol, and unreleased people in your shot. So if you remember those five things, you're going to have one hell of a successful shoot.